A pro dated to 1999 when he fought Quentin Rampage Jackson, of all people, at a catch weight of 205 pounds. Here is the welterweight staple, Mike Pyle. 23 finishes in MMA. He is the only welterweight in UFC history with three consecutive first round knockouts. Mike Pyle now trying to prove, north of 40 years old, that he can still get it done in the big show. This guy is a world-class submission artist, and he will have a massive advantage if this turns into a grappling exchange. Look for him to attack with all forms of submissions. So as this guy makes the walk, there's just something terrifying about guys with crazy hand speed. This guy certainly has it. Good fighters certainly know that at times they can beat speed with timing and precision, but in terms of those first exchanges, you gotta get a guy's timing down, and when it comes to this guy, that is easier said than done. This guy has extremely unusual kicking speed. His technique is outstanding, and there is no wind-up to his movement. this welterweight fight. More than a decade separates these two fighters when it comes to the age with similar height and reach. All right, now for the introductions, we go to Bruce Buff. Ladies and gentlemen, this is the main event of the evening. And when the action begins, a referee in charge of the octagon, Mario Yamasaki. And now, this is the moment UFC fans around the world have been waiting for. Live from the MGM Grand Garden Arena in Las Vegas. It's time! Five rounds in the UFC welterweight division. This is the first fighting out of the blue corner. This man is a jiu-jitsu fighter, holding a professional record of 27 wins, 14 losses, and one draw. He stands six feet tall, weighing in at 170 pounds, fighting out of Las Vegas, Nevada, Mike Quicksand Pyle! And now with his opponent, fighting out of the red corner. This man is a kickboxer, making his professional debut here tonight. He stands five feet ten inches tall, weighing in at 168 pounds. Hiding out of Mac Russia Assassin. All right, I gave instructions to you guys in the locker room. I want you guys to follow my orders at all times. Defend yourself at all times. Touch gloves. Good luck. This is a fight that we have been looking forward to for a long time and is about to take place right now. I'm very excited. We are ready to go with round one here. All right, here's the veteran Mike Pyle back for more, ready to go for round one. Pyle is an outstanding round one fighter. That is something his opponent has talked about here during fight week. Mike Pyle has no shortage of first round finishes, and if his opponent can get this out of this round, get it to a second round, perhaps the pendulum and the advantage swings his way. Easier said than done. So here we go with round one, and it doesn't figure to take him long to start to establish his kicking game, Joe. He's got some of the most powerful kicks in this division, and he does not discriminate. He'll go to the body, he'll go up top. Let's see how the early portions of this one play out. And he connects there. Big kick to the body lands. Hurt him with that spinning back fist. Oh, very nice. Trademark inside leg kick there by Pyle. Well, he left his body wide open there for that hook shot, Joe, and he paid for it. He is leaning in. I know he's got the guard high, but that means the body is exposed, and the opposition took full advantage there. 
just misses with the straight right. Oh, back and forth we go here. Nice punch there by Pyle. Oh, he slipped well there to avoid the left hand coming back. Just over two minutes to go in round one. Straight right hand, no good. Hard kick lands. And he's looking for that left. Fainting. Hard jab. Good defense there. Pyle gets absolutely torched by that uppercut. That one figures to leave him off. Nice punch. Tries a big hook to the head, but misses. And that left hook landed on the button. Joey missed with that straight right attempt. Oh, and he ate a front kick. Straight punch gets through. Joe, that kicking game has been on point tonight. Good kicks. 15 seconds remain in the round. There he swung with the haymaker. Round two straight ahead. Let's take a look at some of the action from that round. And here's a nice shot, lands perfectly. And here's another clean shot that lands. And another perfectly placed strike. Some real clean striking on display in that round. Brittany Palmer with us tonight. Here we go with round two. All right, so second round getting underway here. Competitive first round, Joe. Not necessarily a round of the year per se, but high-level action on both sides. Both fighters had their moments. Your thoughts on what we saw over the first five minutes? Oh, Superman punch. You can tell he's worked on that, Joe. Kyle's lower jaw does not look good. I don't think it's broken, but starting to show some obvious signs of swell. Let me show you the total strikes. Well, his opponent found an opening there to the body. Nice hook shot there, but as he leans forward in trying to get into his own striking range, he's gonna pay the price there to the body. Gotta be careful. You don't want to eat too many of those power hooks downstairs. Whiffs on the straight right hand. Slips the punch. That strike will There's a nice exchange. Just missed with the left there. Nice defense there, huge block. Three minutes now to go in round two. So a much different approach for him here in this second round. He was a little bit tentative in round one, a little bit of a feeling out process. Now he has clearly found his rhythm, found the range. We'll see if he can continue with more activity here in round two. And he connects with the punch there. He's got the arm trapped of his opponent. Good defense. He passes. Side control. He moves to the mounted crucifix now. This is nasty. Under two minutes to go in the round. Caught him with a punch. Working from the mounted crucifix. Good shot to the head. Oh, he's got the ground. Oh, that's it. He's out. That'll do it. And he got the victory from ruthless, brutal ground and pound. Yeah, Joe, safe to say he wasn't stalling or looking for a referee stand-up. He was looking to pound his opponent's 
head through the canvas, and he nearly did so with some of those hammer fists, man. He wasn't trying to score. He was trying to put an exclamation point on a most dominant performance here tonight, and he certainly did that as he ends the fight by knocking. And let's go to a different angle. And there he is after a massive knockout here tonight. Near-perfect execution.